In the process, uh, your people found the registry containing our sentences. Most of our people were convicted for minor offensive offenses under new harsh laws and intending to raise cheap labor. But it turns out there are also arsonists and murderers among us. The registry contains no names, just prisoner numbers, but we think it's fortunate. We can give everyone a new life in this new world, and for this we ask you to destroy this registry. Okay, it will rise, but go for it. They will be very pleased. Average, low, average. Okay. Difficult relations. It's fine, bro. Well, it is fine. We got this. We are still piling coal, which is very nice. Uh, what? Now that our first imp improvements are complete, let's build something that should benefit the boat or seven, seven years safer out here. Yeah, sure. How bad is it? That's not too bad, but it's still a lot of materials. Materials we cannot sacrifice right now. And they are coming over here in 10 hours. Then we'll have to make a decision. So we can make save game here. On here. Or actually, let's make a new one. Let's make it... Um, like that. So... If we decide to not help them, we have to build five infirmaries. Four more, I believe. And not to mention we have to build 20 houses, which we cannot accommodate. The hardest part is the food. We want... I think we need 200, but... it. Uh, I don't think we can deal with that. So we're going to be trying to save them instead, see what they need. Which is not going to be easy. So we are high on these. We need a lot of workers. Average still uh, high. Okay. We need a lot of coal. We need the workers. And here they come. Alright, that's good. Yeah, we need to think about it. Now we need to consult with everyone. Time to decide. So, again. Uh, can you help with New London? Very well. Make another save. Making a lot of saves now. Decision. Okay. Time to talk to them. Uh, we will save you. Uh, New London's economy is in shambles. We will need a lot of coal to keep them warm. Due to the cold, uh, due to the cold, a lot of their workers are sick, which means there are people who have to replace them. Infirmers will heal the grave hill, but to build them, we need to send steel and steam cores. The food economy is stretched to the maximum since, be since the beginning, so a shipment of food ration would be great aid. Your decision to persevere a bigger and more advanced society will affect us all. For good or ill, only time will tell. We believe that if we if we exert ourselves 
We can take care of the food shipment for New London. The other tasks are in your... Oh, that's very nice of them. So they will deal with the shipment of food? Them? We'll send them the workers they need to get their... They get on the good side and keep an eye on them. We will need to know a thing or two about generators. Having built a few, so we'll have to take a look at theirs. Well, I'll be damned. Or do we need people to stay in... Steam cores. All right. Well, then we didn't need that many workers. I mean, we can put them to good use, sure. Especially in like full uh, production, but uh, we need to get the days. And um, we're gonna be sacrificing a lot of coal. So we need to make sure we can handle that as well. I'm gonna build it over here. Then we don't need to build another one of these. And then we need to build uh, these. Alright, good. Technology. I think we will leave the technology panel for now. It feels like we are doing the home stretch now. But we need more. We have people homeless. Need to fire that one up. These two, for that matter. We can probably send this over tomorrow. And we need more coal, of course. Alright. Um, I think it is time we go for this one. Sending us the food ration, you accomplish more than just saving us from starvation. We rekindle hope among our people. They're still hungry, but we know what it took to deliver this much, and we appreciate this a lot. Glad to hear it. We're gonna get workers soon, I think. Come on, you can finish it. Okay, we have cores. Go for uh, metal. The workers you send us are great help. Nearly all of our facilities are understaffed. Many of our workers are sick and even more weakened by hunger. Your people gave us hope that we still have a chance. Now it's up to us. Alright. Oh wait, you need five. Go on, just a little bit more, okay, good. Right. Go for cores. Like crazy. Discontent will rise, sure. Well, I think we should go for it. Let's get them those steel core, team cores. Send over that. Come on, one more. One more. Done. We 
will arrive in uh, very shortly. Uh, this big ship in our core is essential for our survival. The generator is acting up even on lower setting, but many buildings don't get enough heat. Now we can do something to keep people warm and healthy. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. And the last one. The end. The city is saved. We did it. New London is no longer in danger of collapse. It was a trying time for all. Full of strife and discord. But that's behind us now. Despite all the misunderstandings and unnecessary grudges, we saw past our differences and lent a helping hand to those in need. The last city on earth remains the best hope of mankind. But how long will its people remember the lesson that it was... Uh, that, it was that it was discord? Not the great storm. That turned out to be the ultimate threat. Well done. We did it. I think this was a much better end than just to let them be as well. Damn, that was that was absolutely a almost near perfect run. But we're just an outpost ruled by New London. They changed the rules, exploited us. So we rose and became good morning. To stand against New London, we sought friends. We sent them support and improved their lives. Then our former masters turned up to beg for rescue. And we saved the city with the help of our allies. We averted a disaster thanks to cooper cooperation. And we learned the lesson that the ultimate threat was not the storm, but this. New London Territory. Population 897. I think they, okay, so they put all together, okay. Right. I think they mean that, that they put all of our people together. I right, thank you for playing Frostpunk and giving us your support. We hope it was a thrilling, was as a thrilling a ride for you as it was for us, moving both the heart and the minds. We hope to see you around for the new endeavors we are setting off to make. Much love, Frostpunk team. That's nice. And uh, I think it was on day two when we played this game, they actually announced Frostpunk 2, so that's going to be great to play. I'm not sure when it will be out, but it will be out when it's ready. Now, let's see. We do have endless mode if we really wanted to, but... I don't know. We did a story arc. All of these are done. The main story, the arcs, the refugees, the fall of winter home, which we failed on so many times. The last autumn, which was really tricky in my opinion. I think we just, it was just blind, blind luck that brought us to uh, victory there. After losing nearly 200 people in uh, less than 5 days. And on the edge. Which we just did. Which I have to say was probably the best run out of all of these we did. We did it on second try. Yesterday was good. We got to the to uh, the confrontation. Then we decided not to help them, and then we got overwhelmed. Now we knew what to do because 
But things were going so well, so... We just tried to save them and it worked. So yeah, that is great in my opinion. going to leave this now I do like endless modes sure but I think we've pretty much tested all of our skills in this game so far it would be nice to unlock all the technologies but it's not that hard you just need to get a lot of resources in and um, build workshops with engineers so now, I think that would be it for uh, Frostpunk. A great game, struggled a lot really hard. We only played on medium, I'm not afraid to admit it, I felt, thought it was very hard on medium. I don't want to try it on harder settings, I think we would not make it. Or maybe, with a lot of retries. So yeah. Uh, we're gonna cut this stream short tonight. I think that is the best. And tomorrow we will be moving on to... It really depends what we're moving on to. That is not the, the schedule I've written down. That's not the schedule. Not the schedule. Don't have the schedule. Did I bring the schedule with me as a grocery list? That's the last schedule. Did I write the schedule in the new notebook? Must have. Here we go. Alright, so we do have a few choices tomorrow. But I think we might... Might play something off schedule tomorrow. Maybe. Uh, or we're gonna have like two games. We'll see. I'm uh, gonna look into that for tomorrow. I'm gonna do a Far Cry 5 and Far Cry New Dawn. I'm gonna be ending the schedule with that. So, yeah. We'll see what we play tomorrow. I will um, decide during uh, the rest of the night and. When I wake up tomorrow. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, for those who have been following this uh, amazing playthrough actually. So I will be back tomorrow at uh, about 8pm Central European Summertime. And if there will be any changes I will tweet about that. So uh, yeah, until then take care and good night everyone. And I'll be seeing you all tomorrow. Goodbye.